Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing another wine glass video. So you guys really enjoyed my last wine glass video. So I wanted to do one without epoxy. So we're still gonna be using those large stemless wine glasses from the Dollar Tree. Got a little bit of 70% isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna just wipe these down. You can also wash them like you know just like with dish soap and water but still wipe them down uh, right before you get ready to use them just to make sure like right at the last minute that there's nothing on them and I just go ahead and follow them up and just dry them off with a paper towel and so I'm gonna just be using this is a permanent marker I'm just testing it I suggest you test your marker too just to make sure that alcohol is going to take off whatever marker you use. And for permanent marker, alcohol will pretty much take them all off, but just check. And so how I make sure that I get a straight line because I'm also gonna be leaving out a space at the top of each glass and I'll get into that in just a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna just be using one of my glitters and then taking the marker and then lining it up on the glass and just going around the cup. So this is the easiest way to make sure you have a straight line on your cup. It's very simple. Just find something, whether it be like a tape roll, a smaller glass, like a shot glass, just whatever you have around the house. And then just use that to make sure all your heights and everything on your cups will be equal instead of trying to eyeball it. And so now we got a nice little line on there. All right, and so next I'm gonna just, this tape is also from the Dollar Store, just on the hardware, I'll just painter's tape. For the painter's tape part, make sure that you're putting the painter's tape over the Sharpie line. Um, you don't want to tape and leave it out because you're gonna wanna erase it. And that's why we did the check with the alcohol right before we actually put the line over the whole cup. So you're gonna wanna make sure you lay that tape right on the line, that way when you take the tape up, you can just take alcohol and take it off. And I'll show that in this video as well. But yeah, just take your time. Make sure that you're getting it equal in the same height all the way around. Um, and this takes a little practice to especially do it with like one piece of tape like you see me doing. Um, so if you need to use multiple pieces of tape, that's fine. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter as long as you have that line taped off and it's equal all the way around. Alrighty. So once you get that all lined up, we're ready to glitter. So I'm gonna be using my Mod Podge. Yes, I have a giant thing of Mod Podge. Don't judge me, you do not have to buy one this big. The eight ounce, the four ounce, the two ounce will do. And I'm also using a foam brush, which is also available at the Dollar Tree on the hardware aisle. And so just gonna be using Mod Podge. Um, and triple thick and so I decided to do a new set of wine glasses because you guys really had enjoyed the last set of wine glasses that I did but a lot of people were concerned about the epoxy um, epoxying all the way to the top of the cup I do use the FDA compliant epoxy so it is fine for food contact um, but just a lot of people they didn't even know what a cup turner was and all these different things um, so I didn't realize when I made that video that more beginners were gonna find it um, and there were just like a ton of questions that people that already do like tumblers and stuff would know the answer to. But of course, if you're a beginner and you see the wine glasses and you want to duplicate them, I was doing a lot of techniques and using a lot of equipment in the video that just everyone doesn't have at home, like someone who does a lot of resin crafts and things like that would have. And so I wanted to come back and make another video with things that were a little more accessible and things that are just easier to find and you don't have to go out and buy epoxy and a turner and all these different things that I was using in the last video. And so I kind of sat down and brainstormed and I wanted to find products that would be um, non-toxic, safe to use in the home and things of that nature. Cause I know a lot of people just in general have um, worries about using epoxy, especially in their home, around their children, around their pets. Um, 
all things I don't have. <laughs> so it's, it was, it's not like a concern for me, but for other people, I definitely get the concern. You know, you want to be able to do a craft that you don't have to put gloves and a mask on and an apron and be in your garage to do. So I get it. I definitely get it. And so I decided to use, do the Mod Podge, not epoxy, not, I see I'm, I'm so stuck on epoxy, not glittering all the way to the top. That way you have some space to, um, still drink out of it and then also using the triple thick which is non-toxic and you know you can uh, clean it up with water when you're using it so you don't have like the epoxy problems and all that um that you would from my last video and so yeah here we are and so this is just me glittering that is the shade i'm not even telling y'all what i'm doing um that's the shade laffy taffy and fine all laffy taffy also comes in a chunky and so I wanted to try to pick glitters that were really shiny because I knew I would be using, losing some of that vibrance by not using epoxy. Um, and so these I picked Laffy Taffy and then you also the silver one you see in the thumbnail is Slinky Chunky. And so I'm just doing Mod Podge method essentially and glittering. Um, just make sure when you get done doing the glitter that you are pulling your tape right up, pulling it away from you. And so that's why you see me holding it like that. You see I'm pulling the tape away from me, that way to make sure the line is nice, crisp, and clean. And so yeah, these, these are definitely a lot easier than my last wine glasses. The materials are much more accessible, um, things you can kind of run out and get, but I will leave links to everything you see me using below if you're just an Amazon person and you want to throw it all in your Amazon cart and have it come to your house the next day or two days, whatever your shipping area is. When I lived in New Orleans, it was like four days. Now that I'm in Denver, I can get stuff the very next day, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to show you one last thing I did on this cup. And then I'll kind of just speed through the next one so you guys can just see it and enjoy. So you see that black line is exposed. So what we're gonna do is just take a Q-tip and go over that line and get that ink off. So this is important to do, unless you just don't care, you have like a marker that's the same color as the glitter you like. If you're using black glitter, this wouldn't have mattered. But you can see that that ink is coming right on off. So we're gonna just go around the cup like this. There was one cup I didn't do this on because I honestly didn't care at that point because I'm just like, cause I, whatever, you know what I mean? So again, if you don't care about being able to see the line through the cup, that's fine. Um, but if you do care, make sure you're laying your tape on that line. So when you pull the tape up, you can just remove it with alcohol. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be doing three more cups and like this is the silver slinky chunky. Um, and so the two colors are going for this set is gonna be the Laffy Taffy and the silver slinky chunky. And so this one is going to be just a silver slinky ombre, kind of like when we just did the Golden Girls ombre on the last one. I just eyeballed where I wanted the glue to be, um, the Mod Pod since it didn't really matter. I didn't need a line because of course you want that more cascading look. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed through these, let you guys enjoy it and watch it. Very, very straightforward. So just enjoy. Ryan, <laughs> and as always you guys, when you're using a chunky glitter, make sure you just grab a nitrile glove and make sure you're patting that glitter down, getting it nice and flat and even. And even though we're using triple thick on these cups, 
you still want to use that same kind of epoxy mentality and make sure that your glitter is laying flat your chunky glitter is laying flat that way you don't have to do a bunch of coats of triple thick either so just one little tip to make sure you guys don't leave out on this one either and so that's how that one looks it's so gorgeous the triple thick does really good with the chunky hollows um i think the laffy taffy did okay but these chunky hollows came through beautifully so very satisfied if you want to do these definitely try to find a chunky hollow glitter which also i also have a number available i think now we're up to nine um, on my website. So check out period6glitter.com for all your glitter needs. And so the next one, I'm gonna be doing a two colored ombre. Um, and so you see me just stacking my lines. Um, so I just wanted to leave this in in case anyone was wondering how I was able to do the line. So I just picked two items of different height and I'm gonna just make the lines like you saw me do earlier in the video. And then once I tape it, which I'm not gonna show you because I've already showed you, um, I taped it to block off that bottom area. And so at this point, you guys, the video is already kind of long, so I'm gonna kind of speed through, let you guys enjoy seeing me doing it. I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna do this on brain and then I'm gonna do the swirl. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll hop back in towards the end and tell you guys a couple of other little things. So stay tuned and I'll be back. Ryan Ryan Litton. <laughs>
so really quickly i'm only going to show you guys the beginning of this part because if i put in the whole second layer this video is going to be well over an hour um so i did go back in for all of the laffy taffy the cups that had laffy taffy and did a second layer so let your cups dry i would say at least an hour i'm more of a four hour to the next day kind of girl um to let my cups dry and so but like i said if you're in a rush or you're doing this with friends you guys are having like a little wine party enjoying yourselves being safe during covid um definitely just like let them wait like an hour you know watch something on the netflix or the hulu whatever your preference is and then come back and do the next coat um, but like I said, I only did this for the Laffy Taffy. The silver, the ones with the chunky glitters did not need two coats. So I didn't touch the chunkies. But any cup that had the Laffy Taffy fine on it, I came back and did a second coat. So I won't bore you guys showing you this. But do it just how you did the first coat. No, no, you don't need to tape it up or anything if, you, if you're good with trying to line up your brush. But if you're just not feeling it or you just need that guidance, feel free to tape it back. Um, but yeah just full disclosure i did do a second coat on all the cups that had the fine glitter so i'm gonna cut these clips at this point and i'm gonna come right back hold on Ryan All right, I left in a little bit so you could see how I did the swirl too. Um, so as you can see, because I didn't retape, I just have a little bit of lingering glitter around my edges. And so just taking a paper towel with some alcohol and cleaning that up. The glitter is on there, it's dry you guys, so don't be afraid to do this. And just run it along there and get that extra glitter up because you don't wanna seal that in when we go to the triple thick. So make sure you get up any kind of lingering glitter. And then for the chunky cups, I went ahead in with my fan brush and this is just a makeup fan brush i converted to a craft brush um you can get these anywhere that sells makeup brushes or just use a craft brush um and dusting off any uh, excess chunky glitter that's on my cup All right, you guys, so instead of using the epoxy, we're going to be using the Deco Art Americana Triple Thick, just using a regular paintbrush from Michaels to put it on. And so a lot of you guys asked questions like, can I just seal it with Mod Podge or can I use, people were saying something else that I can't remember. Um, but I have been wanting to use Triple Thick for a long time, believe it or not, because I get a lot of questions on it, but I hadn't used it. And so finally got around to using it, thought these wine glasses would be a good opportunity to do that. This stuff is actually like really good. <laughs> and so I was surprised because this like, it left like a rock hard layer, a clear gloss layer on this glitter after the first layer. I did do two layers of triple thick and that little bottle was plenty enough for the four cups that I did probably could have did a fifth after the fifth you'll probably need a new little bottle but this stuff is like 250 um i will leave a link to it below and so yeah this stuff is awesome it dries clear it does really good like i said it left a rock hard clear layer on the glasses liked it best on the chunky hollow cups but it still looked pretty good on the fine cups probably wouldn't have used a hollow if i knew the hollow was going to be like um, a little stunted by the triple thick probably just would have just used a regular metallic um, which you can also find on period6glitter.com but yeah but these are still super cute and they still look super awesome so I'm gonna let you guys watch me do this I'm only gonna show you a couple of cups because again you guys the video is already 25 minutes long I don't want to bore you if you see me oh so like right now you're seeing me like just make sure you come above the glitter just a little bit just to make sure you seal it in because you are able to hand wash these don't soak them in water or anything but you can hand wash them um but make sure you're coming just a little bit above that glitter line to make sure you're sealing it all in so just want to create like one co cohesive good clear seal on your cup so that you will be able to hand wash them um, so yeah, and I'll also leave a link if anybody, if a beginner is seeing this and you're feeling a little adventurous and you want to do the epoxy, 
I will leave a link to that video below. And so just enjoy. I will come back and show you how all four cups look once they are all finished and I'll come back and wrap it up. But in the meantime, just watch me do this. Enjoy, if there's anything that's in the video that doesn't seem just obvious or my if my commentary hasn't answered the question, um, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. And yeah. Ryan Litton. <laughs> So this is our glasses you guys I'm super super satisfied these are super gorgeous so I thought about etching them I actually bought some etchant um, for to do some extra customization with these glasses so if you guys want a bonus video and seeing me etching like the glass portion that's still visible on the cup definitely thumbs up this video subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment below I would love for you to come join our little glitter gang and Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.